All right, so I wanted to do a demo video of the IV-18 clock. Um, this is a Russian tube that's made in that was made in about the 1990s um, in Russia, and uh, same tube used in the Lady Ada's um, ice tube clock. I want to do some quick demos of the software and just a quick review of the uh, setup. Um, the device consists of a booster. Um, it's just uh, it goes on top of the launch pad. And there's also an additional plug-in board, which is the, what the uh, the tube actually solders into. Um, it uses the same footprint as the Lady Ada uh, ice tube clock as well. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, pull the power out and just kind of show you the pieces. Um, this is the, the tube itself, um, soldered into the extension board. Um, some right angle headers. Um, that plugs into the headers right here. Um, there are three buttons for um, you know moving between functions and, and setting up values. Um, there is a Mac 6921 chip um, to control the VFD as well as a MC34063 to boost the 5 volts from the launch pad up to uh, up to 50 volts needed for the VFD. Um, and uh, two important components are uh, these trimmers right here. Um, and they can actually be adjusted from the minimum value to give about 30 volts for the VFD um, and can be adjusted to full values um, to give about 50 volts for the VFD and I'll show what that looks like in a second. So that's just for adjustable brightness. Um, there's also a spot for a buzzer for an alarm. There is a DS18B20 for temperature. I haven't worked out the firmware on that and I'm actually waiting for some resistors. Um, the uh, if you notice right here the the line on the board um, it's actually intended to be able to be cut off so that the buttons can be placed within a case um, and I actually have an example here of one that uh, I'm working on right now where I've already cut off the buttons and uh, these um, the connectors right here and on the uh, button board that can be cut off can be connected via wire so that this can be run to like the top of a case and then this can actually sit on top of the launch pad within. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, plug in the tube and we'll do a quick demo of the software as it is currently. Um, kind of a work in progress but uh, definitely you can go through kind of the basic time setting and stuff like that. Um, and it does also have, right now the software does have the ability to display some text. Um, so I'll show you guys right now, it's at maximum brightness with the uh, trimmers turned up all the way to 10K each. Um, if we actually turn those down, it may not be quite so noticeable on the, uh, the video camera, but um, that turns it down to about 30 volts and it's a noticeably different brightness. So if you wanted to put this in a bedroom or something like that, you might want to lower the brightness of that. Um, the uh, buttons right here, um, this is a mode button right now. Um, there's some additional modes that I'm planning on, but I haven't set those up. This is uh, the second button, which is um, to go into settings. And this is an increment value. And actually when you're in settings, the, the mode button actually becomes a decrement value. So if we hold down the setup button for a little bit of time, we'll actually go into the settings mode. And right now the clock can switch between um, 12 hour and 24 hour mode. Um, and there's different display options within that. I'll actually leave it at 12 hour mode. Um, if we go to the next option, um, we can change the hour. Uh, so we can set, and it actually, uh, you can hold it down and go through um, the decrement button. I don't have the uh, auto decrement, so right now you have to kind of hold it down for a second to get it to move. Um, and up here I've set the, uh, the dot to be um, a uh, PM indicator for the 12 hour mode. Um, so if we go past midnight, so here we're at 3 a.m., the PM indicator goes off. Um, so let's set this to, let's say 10 a.m., uh, move over to, you'll notice how the dots move between which setting we're on, um, moves over to the minute indicator, set the minutes, um, and you'll notice that when we set the minutes it actually resets the, uh, the seconds so that when you're going through it's, um, we're still keeping the RTC going, 
but we're not um, losing, we're not actually having an increment in the middle of uh, going through minutes. Um, once we're passed, you have the ability to set date, so month, day and year. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a European setting on this yet. Um, and the year is actually auto set by the firmware to uh, 2012. And um, if we hold the settings button again for a little bit, we'll actually go back into the time mode. Um, and that's a demo of where the software is right now.